Welcome back sports fans. More Sweet 16 softball action from across the mid-state GHSA class. Private A up to bat. We're talking Tattnall and he brought Christian off Trojan Way. Winners head to Columbus next week for the Elite Eight. Let's check out the highlights. The game two action tied at one to one. Our coach Hiller there, top of fourth. Trojans batting. Haley Daughtry got a blast, as Avery would say. See you later. Tattnall leads, takes the lead 2-1 on the solo jack. Next inning. Two runners on and Grady Appling. Oh, Connorsworth loves the shot. Drives this pitch into the night for a three-run homer. Tattnall now up five to one, having a little BP. Abron Christian, and they've scored three in the bottom of the inning to cut the lead to two, one. Top of the six, Olivia Bridger doubles up the middle. Lindsey Paul scores from second. And the Trojans now lead six to four. Then Mama, there goes that lady again. Grady Appling with the long single, which scores Olivia Bridger to put Tattnall up seven to four. Tattnall will tack on seven more runs to sweep Ebron. The Lions, the Lady Lions, 14-7 is your final. They also win in game one, 14-4. Other scores report from the Diamond. Not looking good for Central Georgia. The FBD Lady Vikings are swept and shut out by Mount Perrin. Christian in two contests. Mount DeSales also sent home with back-to-back -back losses at the hands of the Brookstone Cougars. And Stratford also on the losing end of two touch gritty one-run ball games. Eagles landing Christian moves on. But a ray of sunshine peeks through from Dexter as West Lawrence wins their if game three today. 7-1 over Jefferson. The Lady Raiders are moving on to the Elite Eight in Columbus once again. Congratulations. And congrats to the Westfield uh, Far City softball team as they have advanced to the GISA AAA State Championship Series for the fifth year in a row. They will play tipped area at the Southern Pines Complex in Dublin tomorrow. Game time is at 5 p.m. with game two and three Saturday starting at 1 p.m. Joining them in single A action playing for their fifth straight title as well is Fullington County out of Pinehurst taking on Thomas Jefferson tomorrow during sports at six. I'll introduce you to the Fullington Academy Lady Trojans as they make a quest for number five and bring you highlight scores and more from both teams at 11.